Dear students, I welcome you in the course of Leadership, Emotional Intelligence and Decision Making. This is module number 1 to 6 and in this module we are going to talk about a vocabulary for your emotions. When we talk about the vocabulary, basically we are concerned with the details of our emotions, feelings and moods because it is very difficult to express emotions, feelings and moods in a rightful manner. But when we try to express these things, Remember that sometimes we have to label the emotions. By labeling we mean to say that we are able to express the right word, the right expression to tell what exactly we are feeling. For example, we can't mostly use the right vocabulary to demonstrate our feelings because that vocabulary might not be available to us. We might not be finding our right word that in which we can mood or feeling or emotion ko proper tarike se express kar sake in its original context. Another thing is, we cannot express every emotion publicly. Hum har cheez ko public demonstration mein bhi lekar nahi aa sakte hain. Us ki wajah ye hai ki agar hum har baat ko, har expression ko public demonstration mein le aayenge, to it would be difficult for us ki hum hide kar paayen un feelings and emotions ko which are not to be shown to the public. Another important thing is, ki being a leader, Remember, we can't track every emotion to its origin. हम ये नहीं जान सकते अक्सर ओकात कि हमारी जो feelings हैं वो शुरू कहाँ से हुई, किस चीज ने stimulus दिया, वो कौन सा trigger था जो actually हमें bother कर रहा था, because our conscious mind is not able to process everything around us. बहुत सी चीजें हमारे unconscious mind से भी post वो हो रही होती हैं. एक और चीज याद रखिएगा कि we can't find even the cause and effect relationship of the emotions, feelings and moods. So, it's a very tricky game. Or we need to be conscious and conscientious in all these things that we can keep our emotional intelligence ko constant bhi sake, and at the same time, we should be sensitive about our biases and prejudice attitudes. Remember that when you are there to label the emotions, a very important thing is we need to develop emotional agility. ताके हम जो जो उन emotions को feel कर रहे हैं साथ साथ हम उनको control भी कर सकें और express भी कर सकें। The second important thing we need to understand is we need to understand the reasons. At least we can try to हम figure out करने की कोशिश करें कि वो क्या चीज थी जिसने के हमें bother किया। What is actually tickling us? Because अगर हम effort भी नहीं करेंगे तो obviously those emotions, feelings and moods are going to cause a lot of harm. To our communication and to our relationships. Another important thing is we must understand that there is nothing like basically standalone emotion. Ek akela emotion koi cheez nahi hoti. There are always a mix of emotions. Bohot se jazbat, aisa saath, mehsu saath, wo ek group ki tarha wo aate hain. Or ek akela emotion wo aapko nazar nahi aayega, feel nahi hoga. So ab un group ke jo constituents hain. उस मिले जुले रुझान को भी हमें पिक करना है, अंडरस्टैंड करना है, समझना है, बिकॉज़ उसके बगैर हम अपने फॉलोअर्स के साथ, अपने डिपेंडेंट्स के साथ, अपने एसोसिएशंस के साथ, अपने स्टेकहोल्डर्स के साथ एक अच्छा रिलेशनशिप कायम वो शायद ना रख पाएं। Another important thing is we should address and acknowledge the emotions. इसका मतलब ये है कि हमें कन्फेस कर ले� अगर हम इस सारी बात को कंक्लूड करें, तो याद रखिएगा कि इमोशंस की इस दुनिया में हमें बहुत केयरफुल रहकर चलना है, बिकॉज़ इमोशंस हमारे रिलेशनशिप्स को, हमारे कनेक्शंस को, हमारी एसोसिएशंस को वो मुतासर कर सकते हैं। हो सकता है कि जैसा कि हम अपने आप को डेमोनस्ट्रेट करना चाह रहे हैं, दूसरा शख्स वैसे शायद हमें